guys, how's it going? It's Petunia Gal, and we are back over in Planet Zoo. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try to um, get this uh, Shabolsky's horse barn done. I don't know, we'll see. I mean, I doubt we're gonna get it done this stream, but that's what my plan is for Sunday. <laughs> um, let me go ahead and take off this. So I hope you guys are doing good. Um, oh, it's already muted. Okay. I had a, the stream running in the background. I'm like, wait, no. It's muted. It's okay. So yeah, let's get to it and uh, see what fun we can get to today. Um, I've never really done interior. So, I mean, I've done some little interiors, you know. But as far as, like, a whole barn, I don't think I've ever done something like that. So, it's going to be interesting. But we'll do it. So, I'm really liking the way this outside looks right now. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, one of the things I did want to try to do is maybe... Let's see. Maybe get this part. Do I? Um, why can I still hear my background sounds pretty good? Let me know if you guys are watching how the um, music is. That's weird. I don't even see it on OBS. Huh. Okay. I don't know what's going on here, but... I don't know if you need, um... The background noise when we're doing Planet Zoo. It should have it. Already, like, in the game. But, I don't know. We'll see. It's not the end of the world, right? If it doesn't work. I don't know. So, let's go ahead and do this. Oh, no. Uh, what I was thinking of is getting this uh, window here along the outside of this area. So, not just here, but also on the sides. Oh, that is not what I wanted to do. Okay. So we're going to have to take that and split it from the group because I don't want it there. I don't know I had that group with anything, but okay. Oh, yeah, because I just did the control X and stuff, right? I don't know. We'll do that. That. Okay, so that is going to be a group. And my thought is to do control X. Um, okay. Let's actually first, I'm going to take that. Oh, I've got to finish, fix some coloring here too. This. I think I'm going to go ahead and just turn off that music because I hear the music from Planet Zoo hopefully you guys hear it too okay so I'm going to turn this over it's not quite how I wanted it and do that so it'll be on the front and back then I also thought about having it on the sides as well let's see how that works Let's do that. And nope. Is that right? I don't think that's right. Uh, let's do X. Maybe it is, but it seems off. I think it's good. Alright, so maybe have... I'm going to say three of these. So if we put one here, one about there, one about there. Oh, that looks good, right? 
<clears throat> Let's see. So, can we select all of this? Yeah. Okay, so what we'll do is hit I and go ahead and select these three. I know here it's a little bit high, but I also... I think it would look weird if we change this and not um, change the height of these windows, which I don't think would work very well. I don't know. Let's see. We'll just hit shift. Go ahead and select these. Oh. Did I click on? Okay. I can accidentally clicked on something else. All right. And then we will shift click on this one. Okay, so I'm going to go down and see how this looks. So if we bring it down about like there, still pretty high on the side, but I don't want to bring this too close to the roof. Let's put it about there. I think that'll be fine. <clears throat> All right, so we're definitely going to have to change... I don't know how I didn't get these, oops, all these colors done, but I did not. All right, so go ahead and select all of these, which again, I thought I already did, but you know, it's okay. We got a lot of, I think we've got a lot of them to select, actually. Problem with trying to select all of them at once is I might accidentally, yeah, so let's see, select on something else. I don't know what I clicked on. Oh, I clicked on that one, which for some reason is in a different group. Uh, I think just because we forgot to select these other ones, right? So let's see. Let me go ahead. Oh. Is that selecting? I'm super confused. So what if I select this? Uh, okay. I think that is everything I want. Um, yeah, but we can't combine the groups, so that's fine. It's fine. I'll just do it the hard way. <laughs> uh, let's just do this. I think it's in a group. So we should be able to just select that. And everything that wasn't that color will be that color. I think that'll work. Um, yeah, that's the same color, right? I think so. Everything's good looks like okay click out of that and i want to take these windows so nope these and then shift click on this and that kind of think yeah we definitely need to move this over a little bit move this over oh no nope, over <laughs> it over like that. I think that's good. And hit I again. This I is the multi-select tool, so you got to make sure to have that selected or else you'll just, uh, you know, click on something else and click off of what you actually want. Okay. I could make that a group, but I don't think I'm going to. Just go ahead and do this. And I'll put that over here. I actually hear game sounds this time. It's awesome. All right. Move that. Not quite. There we go. Okay. Put that in so... You can see that, oh man, you can see that angle isn't quite right because the last window is still inside the 
thing. Well, I hate to try to angle it, like work on the angles, so I'm just going to bring it out just enough where that works. Cool. So now it's, uh, it looks like from the outside that, you know, we can actually get light into the barn, right? Oh, I thought that was something in there. Okay. So, then we got the outside pretty much done. Uh, let's go ahead and I want to look at something real quick. So, I'm going to go, oops, what did I click on? Clicked on something. Okay. It's food time. <laughs> um, I want to go back to the full screen. Let me see. Let's see that. Okay. Um, let's. Where is it? Display capture. That's what I want. Okay. So, I think, uh, I think we'll just look up horse barn because we don't need it to be a specific, um, Stavolsky horse barn, you know? So, I'm just going to type in horse barn. And I'm just going to go directly to images. See, this is the kind of thing I wanted here. Um, and then we also have the outside. I don't know if I want to do outside doors. Um, it's kind of got like an outside door for the, for the people going in. And then also that looks like horse, you know, doors that horses can go in and out of too. Kind of like these that have the door, the top of the door open and the bottom closed. That kind of thing. Uh, what is this one? That almost looks like the barns at like the fairgrounds that just have like endless, you know, stalls of doors and stuff. What's that? Stall doors? Yeah. So, pretty much have, you know, wood on the bottom and, like, bars on the top. Well, that's a nice-looking barn there. Oh, this just has full bars, doors. I don't know if I want full bars. I don't think I do. That seems a bit much. And some barns you look at have, like, these, like, upper supports, and others don't seem to have that. I feel like we definitely need upper, you know, supports. Here's that. This has big wooden beams going across the ceiling. I, mean, I would think they would go straight, but I don't know. That's just me. Okay. So just to get an idea of, you know, ways to do things. So we could have an outdoor area like this. Just have little... Uh, these are the stall doors and they go out to, you know, a little... I want to say holding area. I don't know if that's really what you would call it, but... No. I think we I think I know what I want to do. What's that one? This has the beams across and also the beam going uh across the ceiling. Is that a beam? I think that's a beam right there too. I think so. Okay. Let's 
Uh, we'll just go with it. See what we can do. I'm kind of nervous, if you guys can't tell, um, to try to build an indoor for a barn, but we'll see how this goes. Actually, I'll keep that up. I'll keep it up just in case. All right, so let's take that off. Okay. So we'll get back. Nope, not there. We'll get back to here. Okay, so... I think what I'm going to do is use these. Um, we'll take off I. And I will take this. Let's double click. Okay. I'm just going to split that from the group. And do control X. I'm going to probably have to put some... Uh, Oh, no, that didn't work. Oh, it didn't select. I have to select that again. There we go. Uh, I'm going to have to put some lights in here just so we can see what's going on, right? So let's bring this inside. All right. Oh, jeez. You hear that echo from the horse? Oh, jeez. That's crazy. Um, so I'm going to have this go up here along the ceiling like that. You know what? Well, no, that's not going to, that's not going to work. I was going to say I could take the roof off, but we kind of want that on at least right now. All right. So, how much do I want, like, how many of these do I want to do, is the question. So, we do that. And, let's see. Nope, that's not what I want to do. My hands will cooperate, that would be great. Alright. So, we'll do this. And how many of these can we put across here? I may change the, this color. I don't know. I feel like it needs to be a more wood color. Like a more uh, natural wood color. I don't know. It feels like what we need. And then obviously we don't want it to go through the outside. And then what I was thinking is from... Each of these, we would have, like, one going up, which I think we'll have to use a smaller size. Yeah. Definitely have to use a smaller size. I guess that noise, that that chirp noise is like the horse. I don't know. I don't know what else it would be, but they don't seem to be doing anything when that happens. I mean, this one's sleeping, so. So I thought maybe it was a, one of the baby noises, but. Are you going to do it again? I don't know. That baby is so cute. <laughs> that, that is so weird. All right. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to terrain and just paint this. Oops. Where's the thing? No, no, no. Short grass. Oh, is that, that's something else. That's not. Huh. Okay. This, it must be something outside. Here we go. X, let's move that out. And I'm going to rotate it just to see if we can get it more. There we go. Although, that might be in... No, it's not. Okay. We're good. All right. So, what we'll do is let's go ahead. I'm going to do I. And we'll select these. 
like that. And I'm going to put those in a group. And then what we can do is double click. Let's get out of I. Double click this group. And then all we have to do is shift click to select everything we want to select. And we can do control X and move this over. I don't know how many of these we want. I think, I think three might be good. Do that. I don't know. I feel like Is that going to be enough? I feel like that's a little bit weird spacing there. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and select this one. And then I'm just going to hit X. I think probably making four would might, might be good. We could try to Click and drag. That did work. Didn't think that was going to work that easy, but okay. So kind of like that. And then we'll select this one. And move this over. Nope. Move this over. I mean, it's not going to be perfectly spaced. But I think it'll be okay. Something like that. Uh, from here it looks okay, I think. And then, let's see. Let's go have a smaller... Oh, the smaller ones are here. Nope. Oh, that's not in a group either. Okay. So we'll just do control... I'll do control D to copy it. Uh, um, what is it? So it is select group. I think this may be a little bit difficult to do in this small space. Okay, so let's do that and hit X a couple of times. And then we can bring that up. No, I didn't. Wait. Ah, uh, did I undo it? Do I still have it selected? Okay, I guess not. Just making sure. Oh, I gotta get out of here again. Okay. Control D. I do need to get lights in here, though. That don't work? Come on. Well, I can't really do it without the roof on because the roof is kind of necessary. Alright. Let me do it again. Let's try Control X. I don't know. We'll see. Go like that. Go down a little bit. Okay. Well, I wanted to select this group. But I guess we can do it this way for now. So what we can do is bring that... Nope. Bring that down. And then... I, I'm not sure about <laughs> working in this tiny space. Okay, so we'll bring it like that. And also over, because I want it to go up into the roof. So this is like the support beam for these uh, column, you know, these uh, beams here. So let's have it go like that. I hope it, well, this one won't show through because it's in the middle. That does not look like, does that look straight up and down? I don't know. To me, it does not look like it's straight up and down. But we'll go with it for now. And then this is going to have to move like that. Oh. 
the uh, I don't like this. And then like this. Just to make sure all the cross fighting is gone. All right. And then what what makes sense to me at least is to also have uh have it like this. Let's do control X X. Nope. I think I'm trying to figure out is it like this? Or do we need to go? I think we need to go up. So I think this would go on this side. If I'm not mistaken. The only problem with this is the, like, where the wood connects looks a little odd, I think. And we'll have to check the uh, roof, too. Okay, because, yeah, that looks a little, a little weird. Hmm. The alternative would have, would be to have these as a different material. We could have these beams the same. But maybe the beams up here would be something different. Um, let's do that. Um, let's do almost. Uh, do I do beams? Let's see. I'm thinking beams would work the best, but let me look at material. So I was thinking like a metal beam might do the job. Let's see. That's pretty small. Can't tell how big that is. Um... Go ahead and select the group and I'll move this up. I was thinking this may at least um, kind of help with the whole, oh, that, oh no, it's not, uh, with the whole like connection, you know, so it's not, it's not, you're not going to be able to see a ton of difference where it connects, right? I don't think anyways. Um, and I'm actually thinking. Let's place that just to have it there. But what I'm thinking is also doing this. And having this on top. Does that look like it's not in it's not in the grid? It's totally not in the grid. Let's see. Control X. Oh, I was like, where did it go? Okay, X. Nope, that's what I needed. Well, I just didn't turn it enough. There we go. That's right, I think. So what I was thinking is having this also uh, as the center roof, you know, beam that everything can connect to. If I can stop hitting the right mouse button as well. So this will go up to the center. And so it looks like it's, I don't know. It feels like it's not like it's going up. Is that right? 
Maybe not. Okay, I can't tell where the can't tell where the building ends over here. Okay, so we get about there. And we can change all these colors. I'm not super worried about that. It's really hard to uh, get this in the right, like make sure it's all not sticking over too far or sticking into each other. You know what I mean? See that about there. Oh geez, where am I? What's happening? Okay, <laughs> we're good. So that way, when we have a connection, um, we don't have to worry about the uh, ceiling. Like, um, we can have a flat part to put it on. Uh, let's see. X. Okay, this is really not working very well. Do it this way, I guess. Ah, it works better. Okay. All right. So I'll have it go about right there. Oh, there. Ish. I can't tell where it's like centered to the beam, but here we go. I think I'm going to go ahead and pause. Just so we don't have, so we don't hear all those horse noises all the way through. Um, so I'm thinking, well, let's go ahead and select that or click it there. And then we'll go to color and how, oh, what, how is that? Okay. That, that can't be right. How is that the same color as the beams? That is definitely not, not a thing. Wow. Okay. Even black does not look black. Well, that kind of stinks. I don't know what to do with that. Um, <laughs> why does it look like that? Well, that is not going to work. <clears throat> that is totally not going to work. All right. We'll have to we'll have to delete that cuz that's not not going to work. No beam. Marquee beam. This is flexi color too. Can I Place it. What's happening? Can I place it right on these things? That's a round beam, though. Is it? So, what if I select that group? Whoa, where to put it? I put it somewhere. Where did I put it? I'm super confused. I placed it somewhere. I heard it. Oh, let's do control Z. Okay, there we go. We want it right there. I know this is too long, but... And I feel like it's too narrow. It doesn't look like it would be able to hold up. Oh, stop it. Let's see. Nope, it is not even. It's not even going to be straight. Okay. Well, that doesn't work. Definitely does not work. 
Those are too skinny. No. What are these? New World Beam. That definitely looks heavy duty, but... I don't know. I feel like we should stick with the same material that we have. But... These are not flexi-color. I think I tried these somewhere, right? These look like they would work better. Like, they're thicker? Hmm. What grid is it going on? It's Let's see. Uh, let's hit X. Yeah, it's not even going with that. That's weird. Okay, so I could use this for, like, the stall doors. The out, you know, the outline of the stall doors. Like that. Probably just have it go up. To the ceiling. Try not to have it go out of the roof, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to see how it looks. Okay, it doesn't come out. Cool. Wait, does it? Oh, it does a little tiny bit. Little tiny bit. Where'd it go? Oh, come on. See, I wouldn't be able to do this um, with with the roof off. I kind of need the roof. I don't think I can make it where... Like, that is, I think, as low as I can get it. I think that's good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Cool. So the only problem after that is the crossfighting. <laughs> you always gotta worry about the crossfighting. I don't know. I feel like maybe using um Metal would be okay for these. I don't know. Oh, come on. See, it just doesn't line up right after you have to move it. At least not for me, anyways. So the only problem is, this will be kind of a short stall. <laughs> Like, I don't know. Let's see. Let's do shift and we'll click that and we'll bring it all the way over to like the beginning of the door or the, you know, the edge of the door there. About anyways. And then we'll have to do this again. Which this uh, may actually be uh, where the top of the roof goes. Let's see. So if we put that there. <clears throat> oh. I can't tell what this selected. No, we don't see it. Okay. It's like right inside that area. So that's cool. That works. All right, so the question is, oops, why did I do that? How many of these do we want? Oh man, I hit I instead of, okay, let's do shift. 
and control X. Can I? Let's see. I don't think I can do that, can I? Okay. All right. Shift. And then control X. And even where? Oh, there it is. So. I don't know. Do we put them on just each of these beams? Let's see how this looks. I got rid of one of these. I was like, that's weird. Okay, let's do this. I do have crossbinding I have to get rid of. Let's, uh, let's do control X. About there ish. We'll say there. All right. Now bring this over. To there. So that's not quite as wide as these others, right? Okay, let's do this. <clears throat> Since we've got the height and everything figured out, let's go ahead. We'll go up. Okay. I'm going to do I, and we'll select all the roof pieces. Like that. And... that is not going to get this area. Let's see if we bring that up. I don't know if that's going to quite, well, if that's going to quite do it for us, but we'll do that for now. It's a little better. All right. So, uh, let me get up here. Stop moving forward. Go down. I just feel like this is not the same size, right? So what we can do is let's, nope, take this. And can we do control X on that? And I want to get something shorter. Say like that. This is just for spacing. So if we have this go to the edge of there and then um, let's have it about like that maybe I'm gonna split that Nope. And split that. Okay. I might be making this harder than it actually should be. 
wouldn't surprise me. Do that. Make that a group. Okay. So what I'll do is select this. Keep forgetting it's in a group. And then we'll shift click these. And also, no. That's a problem. When you try to select something and you accidentally click on one other thing and you have to do it all over again. So if we do this and move all of that over to the end of here, put it right at the end. know if this is exactly the right oops and we'll just move this over like that it's like well I did have it on top of this I don't think I'm gonna worry about moving that one See how this is. Pretty much the same. Then this one needs to go over a little bit. Okay. So, shift click. That and that. And that. And this. Okay. Now we'll move that over just a little bit. It's not going to be the same on the other side. But I think it'll be okay. Do that. That's good. Okay. So I think that worked. <clears throat> So that's, an, uh, I guess the only real way you can, uh, space something out perfectly is get a piece that you just reuse over and over to, uh, space it out. Right. <clears throat> I mean, it wasn't perfectly spaced, but you know, it was better than just doing it by eye. Right. So we got that. Hello? Okay. And let's go back down. So, what I'm thinking is we have a horse stall here and a horse stall here. And in the middle we'll have, um, I don't know, should we have three? I guess we could have three, but then I don't know what to do with these sides here. I feel like that is, oh, how do we do that? Um, I thought we were like right at the edge of this. Is that right? Not really. Not really, okay. Well, let's pick out, let's do construction. I'm gonna try to go to content pack, conservation pack. So, I mean, we could build it with individual beams. I don't think we're gonna, I mean, I don't know. I don't think we're gonna do that. Let's get rid of that. Although I can't really, I can't use a full size wall. Um, let's see. I was thinking. Why is that trying to snap? I don't understand. Um. 
I don't like that. Okay, so if we hit X. Bring that up. Actually, let's put it. Uh, about that much. I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. We'll see. Put it over here like that. And then. Yeah, we definitely need to move this back. So what I want is to move this. I think we'll have a little bit of space. Kind of like right there. Let's see. So then we'll just have to select all of these. We'll have to move the top once we get the roof back on. Should I say the tops of these? Let's see. Okay. And then I just want to move it back enough where it's going to meet up with these. Like that. Nope, not that. There we go. Okay. So, let's see. I could technically, this could be a stall, this could be a stall, and this could be a stall, and then this would be like the area for the keeper to come in. Well, let me see. Um, I'm going to click on one of these guys. Uh, this. Click on this guy. And let's go to Zoopedia real quick. You like uh, one male up to seven females. So I could definitely have more, more stalls in here. So. Let's not do these then. And that's definitely not going to work. Like I said, we're probably not going to be able to get away with an actual wall. We'll have to, you know, make our own. Let's see. What if we take this kind of door uh, here? Exit. Okay. So obviously I won't use the windows. But if I take these. And use all but. The windows. I can't tell what I have clicked. And what I don't. Is that a different group or something? Why can't I select that? that that's a different group. I think. Yes, it is. Okay. So can I do this? I There we go. Make that whole thing a group. Okay. I know these are going to be too wide though, is the only problem. But um let's see. Go ahead and select all of these. Everything but the windows. And then we can put something different for like a, like a door. 
I think that'll work. So let's split that from the grid and do control X. And then we'll do X and we'll turn it around. Well, I didn't get the, the stuff. Oh man. Well, we could do something different for the inside. It, that feels like it's too much. Let's see. X. Like, that doesn't feel like it's actually straight. And it is not. Okay. I think that is. Nope. Did I do... I don't know, for some reason, sometimes I just can't tell if it's right or not. But, let's see. I'm gonna do... Nope, not that. I'm gonna do this. It's not quite... Okay. I think it wasn't gonna be wide enough, but... Now the problem is it's not... I mean, it's, I thought it was going to be too wide. Stop moving the thing. Oh my goodness. I don't know what is going on. Alright, so... It's about the middle, right? So, let's take this... Uh, I'm going to try to hit, nope, hit G to get rid of the GUI so I can get this stuff. I mean, we don't have to use the same one, but that would be kind of, kind of nice to use the same one. I don't know why the bottom. That doesn't look like it's reaching the bottom. I guess it is. I don't know. That's weird. Okay. And I know um, we have some stuff like in between. Or some stuff around it to make it not look super similar. But I still want to copy it around like that, or move it around like that. And then do that. Okay, and now I can just click on that and then shift click on the other two. What? Oh, I hate when I do that. So that's the problem with having the GUI hidden is uh, when you accidentally click on the um, on the stuff that without knowing. What? That is not what I wanted to do. Not what I wanted to do at all. Okay. And then one more. So I'll do the middle one. I don't know if it necessarily matters too much, but we'll do it. Okay. I'm going to get this above, there we go, you know, get it in front of the um, beams for the X, you know, the cross hair thing, you know what I mean. I feel like... 
I need to take these. Nope. Control click. There we go. And just move these back a little bit. Nope. Move these back. Like that. That looks better. Just to get a little bit of a depth in there. Where's, oh, it's this one. I'm trying to get that cross biting to go away. It always, that's always the hardest part for builds. At least for me, because cross biting really annoys me. Okay, so to, is it too weird to have it the same as the outside, or is that cool? I don't know. All right, let's do this. So, it's going to need something that goes up all the way. Um, nope, that is not what I want to do. Um, let's see, like something on the sides. Again, something like what we've got already, like this. Uh, I don't need that. But bigger, like taller. Let's see, that is his beam. Let's see. We're going to have to take off the pack. Let's see, what's this? That, uh, hold on. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. I'm okay, I think. All right, so... Um, sorry, now I'm having to deal with my eyes watering. See, this is why I kind of like to do not, uh, face cam, because you guys don't have to see me cry. <laughs> I don't have any Kleenex around here either. I promise I'm not crying, guys. All right. So, trying to decide what to do for around the door. Okay. So, I could just do the same beams that we've got. But, when I feel like going for something, a different wood would be weird. Why is it snapping? I don't like that. Like, if we went with something like this. I like this wood, but. Let's see. We have it go back a little bit. Like, into the door. I don't know. That might work. Don't know about having this many wood textures in here. I don't know if that would work very well. And then I don't know how far up we would want it. Oh. I clicked off of it. Oh. Okay. Let me, let me look at those pictures we were looking at earlier. <clears throat> um, so a lot of these doors... They just have the, you know, frames around them and that's it. Of course, a lot of them are also sliding doors. 
Well, the ones I'm looking at right now, anyways. Let's do uh, display capture real quick. Maybe. Come on. Okay. So this one is literally the the door. It's a sliding door. And uh but it's just got the frame around it and that's it. So now I feel like we need to do a sliding door. And I don't really think we want the same exact sliding door as the outside, but I could be wrong. Let's see. I also know that these are wild horses, so I mean, they don't necessarily need a fancy barn, but you know, why not? That looks like it's sliding too. So I definitely feel like we need to do sliding doors. Why am I, I keep like clicking and dragging when I don't want to. Let's see. So, I do kind of like that door. I mean, the wood, this wood, I like that. So, what if we totally take away? Oh, that's the same, in the same group. All right, let's split that from the grid, and we'll totally. Remove that. And let's do X. So it comes up a little bit more than that. Let's see. I'm thinking. Do we want to bring. Oh, man. Do we want to bring these. Down instead of right at the roof, they would be like down here. I don't know. So let's see. If I did about like that. That would be like the outline of the door. So that way it could be wider than the one I had. I was gonna say I know there's I know there's space in between there. It's not what I wanted to do. Do it. I don't know if that works there. But if we do want these to be sliding doors, then we'll have to change things around a little bit. I'm going to be right back.
All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. So let's see what we could do. I don't, let's, oh. I forgot I copied that. So I don't think this will look good if we have this go because there'll be a different grain up here. I don't think that's really going to look very good. But I also know that this is way too much forward. Come on. Let me do... Oh, nope. Do this. See if I got it right. Not quite. It's a little bit off, but not too bad. All right. That goes over there. I'm trying to figure out what to do. Because I do want, I do think we need sliding doors. But not all barns have the sliding doors. Let's see. Go back to this picture again real quick. Uh, I can't tell actually on that one that's definitely sliding doors so I see ones like uh, this one I'm looking at right now let's see come on That worked. Jeez. Um, like this one. I can't really tell if this is a, a whole sliding door or I, I can't tell. Now, obviously, you've got this um, top part that'll open. And then the rest is, uh, you know, bar-like things. But I, I think it's sliding because if you look up here... That looks like some like a sliding mechanism there, right? So I feel like we need to make it, you know, a sliding door. These are fancy. Of course, this whole barn looks pretty fancy, so I don't know. Um, that's interesting. So, let's see. I feel like... Because what I'm, what I was thinking also is these kind of doors we have on the outside of the barn. Um... But I don't, I don't know. So again, I can't see. I'm guessing that's a sliding mechanism. I don't know. See, these are the kind of beams I was thinking of. Um, you've got the beam that goes across, and then you also have the beam that goes up. And these little ones that go off to the side is what I was thinking. Of course, it also has the beams going up on this, the roof itself. 
There's just so many different ways to do this. See, here's sliding doors. Nope. Stop doing that. Come on. This is crazy looking. It's like a chandelier. It's the largest horse barn in the United States. Okay. I don't like these that are all, uh, I mean, these aren't wires, but like, you know what I mean? I, I want something that has some wood on it. I just feel like that looks better. I don't know. Let's go back. Let's go back. There we go. <laughs> don't know why that's so hard. So we could have a stable here and a, a sliding mechanism going that way and a stable here and then we can make two, uh, we can make those over here as well. That's what I'm thinking. But if we do a sliding thing, we have to have it in front of all these beams. So, like, if I took this, and we'll do Control X, and X again. I didn't want to let go. This. No. Even that seems like it's too far. No, I guess it's fine. Okay. So what I was thinking of with this is, again, this could be our sliding door mechanism, right? Obviously, we can't have it slide through col these columns here. So we can't have that. But what we could do is, let's see that have it go up about that high and probably just take these out yeah I think we're going to have to get a smaller stop a smaller beam oops there we go Or have this go down further. But I wanted it to be at least at the same height as this door. I keep clicking the wrong thing. So at least have it about here. And I guess have it come out. Have it come out to about there. So for now, I'm just going to take these out. So that's not going to be what I want. So we'll do control. Oops. Uh, control Y. I did control Z instead of control X. Not what I wanted to do. Have this go all the way across. And I can't, like, I cannot tell where that wall is. Okay. About there, I think. <clears throat> so this will be our sliding mechanism. And the, so these... If we want them to be out of that, we want them to be um, part of the door that slides, obviously, to bring this up a little bit. I can't see what I'm doing now. 
Okay. So I was planning on getting stuff actually done. Never works out that way. So we'll do that. And I'm just going to delete this one, actually. I'll just move this. Do control X. See, that's not quite lined up there. That's, that's annoying a little bit. See, that seems like a wide door. I don't know. Do something like that. That maybe. And that was, what was that called? Conservation slack cladding. Okay. So let's go here. Okay, why is that doing that? I don't want it to position snap. Okay, that's better, I think. So let's hit X twice just go around the only problem with using this wood for both the horizontal and vertical is we don't have the same texture look now have that like that And then we'll also have one up here. Oh, come on. Actually, I'll have one. I wonder if there's a way I can turn off the right click because that's what keeps getting me. But that one about there. And this one. Up here. I was not touching the thing. Let's see. That's weird. Okay. Still seems like a pretty wide door, but I think we're good with it, right? The problem with these is they all, what do these look like? They all pretty much look the same. Let's just take out that. I mean, we could do an actual wall, but I don't... Oh, we could do... Well, no, it's not... It's not going to work with the size. It's fine. Too big. Okay. Let's... There we go. So I'm thinking of having something I do have like how does this look? They do actually have some things called blinds. No. What? 
okay. These are a little wide. I was thinking of using these for the bar type things up at the top of the part, uh, top of the door. But no. Seem a little too much. Could do something like this, but. So if I do something like this, nope, not that. Okay. Oh, the, the back might look a little weird if we do this. Oh, come on. So I think, um, let's see, I don't know. I feel this could work. Maybe. Bring this out like that. I don't know why that looks like it's doesn't fit. Uh, or I, what I could do is come in, try to bury it in the, well, we can't bury the other side though. That's not going to work. That's definitely not going to work. Well, let's see how good of a fit it is. And we'll do that. Try to overlap the edge there. Come on. Oh no, I kind of like that. Oh, and it is recolorable. Cool. So, um, is this in a group or did we do it separate? Okay. That in a group. I'm going to go ahead and select that one. And we'll just shift click that and that. Although I don't think it's going to be a perfect fit up. Oh, wait. Maybe it is. I wouldn't say perfect, but if we do that. Then escape out of there. So this thing, I could bring it up. Wait. However much I need it. And then just bring this one up. A little bit. Like that. Okay. I don't really like the color. I think probably sticking with like a dark. Let's stick with this one. I think that works. So now what to do with the bottom of the door? Uh, 
All right, so let's see. Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. <clears throat> I think that looks good. So I think what I'll do is split like right here for another stall. So we'll have one stall. Oops, that's not what I want to do. So we'll have one stall here with the door sliding that way and one stall, I guess, here with the door sliding. I don't know. Not exactly sure. We'll figure it out. Yeah, that's still not right. Let's do this. Bring it up. So, this isn't connected to that either. <laughs> so, you have to look at every single, you know, angle of this to get things set up right because now this is off so let's do that bring it up a little bit oh yeah I did think that was off So I'm gonna select all of it because now we selected the bottom thing. Or we could just copy all of these and paste them on the other side as well. So if I copy these, so I'll do control X and bring them around to the back as well. Oh, come on, move. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. Control X. Oh, that didn't work. Control X, not X. So, should I figure out how much I want to do that? I think what I'll do is go ahead and copy it around or move it around here. And I'll have to bring it back. Oh, that's not quite right. I hate when it does that. Okay. Oh, jeez. All right, now the only thing left to do would be the interior of the door. So. <clears throat> how do we want to do that? What if we... Because that I can't let it, it can't be like a whole win, a wall or a half a wall. It's going to be too, too much. I don't know. But I think for now, I'm probably going to call it here. Um, I know it's a tad bit early. 
but my hand is just not cooperating with me right now. So um, I think we're going to call it here and uh, I'll see what I can get done, you know, for Sunday's video. See if uh, I can figure out what I want to do with this place because, uh, you know, as far as interiors go, I've only done like some basic interior work for like uh, um, the habitat here and there. And it's nothing as in, in, as detailed as like the inside of a barn. So uh, it'll take me a bit to figure it out, I think. But I do hope that I will have it on Sunday and that'll be, you know, the final, um, the final part of this Shavalsky's horse habitat. Uh, but yeah, until next time, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you're catching this later, don't forget to come check out the live stream here on YouTube at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time on Fridays and uh, hang out and do some billing with me. It'd be super cool. Um, and yeah, so until next time, again, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.